The bid for World Cup glory in Australia ended in an agonizing defeat to Spain on the biggest stage for women's football. But Prince William said, though it's the result none of us wanted, you have done yourselves and this nation proud. Your spirit and drive have inspired so many people and paved the way for generations to come. Thank you for the footballing memories. William, 41, president of the Football Association, sparked controversy for staying at home rather than attending yesterday's final in Sydney. He watched the nail-biting climax to the month-long tournament with wife Kate and children, Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 8, and Prince Louis, 5. Like millions sitting glued to the TV, they experienced the agony of England falling at the final hurdle with a 1-0 defeat. After the tears subside, coach Serena Wigman's fearless team can bask in the glory of what they have accomplished. Wigman hints at quitting Lionesses after being tipped to take England men's job, latest, for the past month. The heroines have united the country with fans of all ages sharing in their pride, optimism and quest for football glory. They fell short but they have inspired a new generation transfixed by their bravery and courage. England, reigning European champions, started the final well and came within inches of opening the scoring when Lauren Hemp's looping effort hit the crossbar. But Spanish player Olga Carmona broke millions of hearts on 29 minutes, driving home across the despairing body of goalkeeper Mary Earps, who later gave England a sniff of a way back into the game when she saved a penalty. Queen Letizia of Spain, down under with her 16-year-old daughter Infanta Sofia to show her country's commitment to national football, was all smiles at the final whistle, but no senior member of the British royal family attended the match. William had apologized to the Lionesses for not being there in a video posted on Saturday. King Charles and Queen Camilla shared a message heralding their skill, determination and team spirit. His Majesty sent heartfelt thoughts and commiserations on the result but said their performances would serve as an inspiration for generations to come, and, for that, your place in the history books is assured. The Lioness's extraordinary rise has inspired so many to take up a sport that they were once told was the preserve of boys. It is one of the most inclusive sports in the UK. There are now 100,000 more girls than in 2017 playing the game in England. Yesterday's defeat came at the same stadium where 20 years ago Johnny Wilkinson won the Rugby World Cup for England against Australia. England fans among a sellout 75,784 crowd insisted the women's game was the winner despite the defeat. The Lionesses were comforted by family and friends at the final whistle, including Captain Millie Bright's parents Nicola and Stephen, and sisters Amy, 32, and Victoria, 35. Millie, 29, said, in a couple of weeks, we will appreciate this day but it's hard to take. Deflated coach Wiegman, who has pledged her future to England, said, it feels really bad now, very, very disappointing. I think we can be so proud of ourselves now although it doesn't feel like it at the moment. The Lionesses posted a joint message saying, it's been an amazing year and we're so proud of our journey. Culture Secretary Lucy Fraser, at the game on behalf of the government, said, they inspired millions. An incredible journey has come to an end but it will never be forgotten.
Now take 